Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to do a haul video, but it is a little different than normal. So my mom is the type of person who will go out and buy makeup like literally every day, all the time, and just kind of like throw it in a drawer and not use it, not want it, or wait for me to take it. So these are some of the things that I got from my mother's makeup drawer, who is a hoarder of literally everything, especially makeup. Okay, so first we do eyeshadows, and these are just two brands that I got from her. One is Lancome. I think I'm saying that right. Very new to professional makeup. And I think this is just a little sampler, but it's some purple pretty colors. It's an ombre finesse palette. It's color focus. There's daylight, sparkle, peep, and snap. And those are the colors. You cannot really see it this lighting. It's a little too bright. But I have, it's like a smoky brown, a smoky purple, a light pale, and a white. And then I have an American Beauty palette, which is the American Beauty Luxury for Lids Eyeshadow Duo in <clears throat> 12 Berry. Get out. The cat was trying to get out. I opened the freaking door. Get out, cat. Come on. And then this one is a purple with a pale white. And then, yeah. And then there's this American Beauty one, which is Luxury for Lids Eyeshadow Duo in 12, which is Duo Berry. So there's like a purple and a light pale pink. <clears throat> and then two more eyeshadows. This one is from Cargo, and it doesn't exactly say the color. And you won't really be able to tell the color, but it's black with sparkles. Here, you can see that? Yeah, Cargo, black with sparkles. It doesn't say the color. And then I got this one from my mom, and it's from Ulta, and it's an eyeshadow, and it's Plum Neor. It's just a pretty dark purple. Purple's my favorite color, so. I needed to get some more actual purple. <laughs> um, next is this little eyeshadow palette. Stila. Written in the Stars eyeshadow palette, so it's just some pale pinks, some good transition colors, and then some browns. If I can get it open. Ready? Bam! Alright, okay. so just those browns and then the pale pinks like I said. It's a nice everyday palette. Okay, I'm gonna do blush next. So we got some elf blush. I just thought it was a pretty color. It's a color shy. I usually do. These are like to travel with. Things like that. And then we got a really nice one that I'm super excited about because it not only looks pretty, it smells good. I've showed this in a video. I think my mom had one more and I was so excited. Benefit Georgia Peach. I love it. it smells amazing. I freaking love it. And then my mom didn't even know. Oh, one more blush. And then I, I'll tell you this little thing that was like, really, mom? Really? Okay. Blush All Day Natural Cheek Color. Estee Lauder. Just a very pretty. Are you kidding me? And this is why it's a sample. Okay. So my mom didn't know what MAC was. Seriously, didn't know what MAC was. So I got some MAC products, which I use this today. Check it out. Mm, blush. Okay. This is called Well Dressed. Used it in this look. Just a very pretty blush. And then this one is also blush, but it's blush cream. And it's called Uncommon. Struggle. Keep throwing shit. Um, that's also a pretty color. And then I have some Bobbi Brown stuff, which my mom didn't want, which I don't know why, because Bobbi Brown is a great brand. So she gave me a long-lasting eyeshadow cream, for, and then the color Bone. It's a little used, so I'm not going to show you. Sorry. Not going to happen. And then she got me, or she had two pot rouge and lip cheeks in there that I thought were cute that I've never used and I got similar colors but they're a little different. One is Cabo Coral in 21 and one's Calypso Coral in 2. So I'm excited to try those. And then for my grandma, she got me some Mary Kay stuff because my great grandma Gigi is obsessed with Mary Kay. She gave me some tinted moisturizer sunscreen and some Time Wise Luminous Liquid Foundation Wear. 
and this one I used in this look today but I mixed it with my own foundation which is uh, matte poreless uh, um, this bottle in 125 and the combination together so far if my lighting doesn't keep fracking out so far it's doing good we'll see later we'll see if they can last a day this is a day I'm gonna see if I can try to fix this I think I just said nope okay and then I got some squishy brushes from my mom little squishy pads um I also am doing a little mini review in this um Ava and I it is downstairs it is a hair mask which I tried on Monday my hair still looks great. I haven't washed it since Sunday night. So, yeah, that's my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace, guys. Hey guys, I'm in my bathroom. So we all know that I did that Ava and I therapy session hair mask. So you put it on your hair for two to five minutes. And I did that and my hair looks freaking amazing. All I did this morning, I slept on it wet. All I did this morning was brush it. And it looks amazing. So recommend 10, 10. I don't know how much this is, I'll have to look it up. And I'll put it in the comments down below. Check it out. Alright, so I'm trying this Ava and I hair therapy session mask. I just put a little tiny quarter size into my palm, put it in my hair, leave it for two to five minutes, and then rinse it out. Don't mind the fact that I look 12 after I take a shower and without makeup. So now I'm going to put in some Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. Morocco? Just, uh, I thought I had Walmart in my hair. And then I'm going to sleep on it, and then in the morning I'm going to...